Superman. Bro, that's a big call. That's a big call. That's a big call. Because look, when you say Superman, it's one film. And that is Richard Donner. The Richard Donner film, when he told you, you would believe a man can fly. The great, amazing Christopher Reeve. And again, rest in peace to Christopher Reeve and Richard Donner, two legends that gave us the incredible Superman one. So, it's a big move by James Gunn. To say, no, we're not going to separate... I'm like, we're not going to try to separate our film or make our film different. No, this is called Superman. Now, it's not Superman Legacy, Superman Reborn, Superman re -risen, Superman says, what's up, Superman is alive. It's Superman. That's it. <laughs> and it's an interesting call. It's an interesting call. And I think, because I've just been thinking about this, and I, and I keep saying to myself that, and I was talking to my brother about it as well. Is James Gunn the right man to direct a Superman film? Here is my honest opinion and my honest view. Because look, this suit is out. Again, like, look, I don't know how much you can say about the... I would like to see the suits because I just looked at the logo. Then I wanted to look at the Man of Steel suit, which is still good. Man of Steel is a garbage film. Man of Steel is a garbage film. I'll say it one more time. Man of Steel is a garbage film. We But with a great intro. Um, Krypton, amazing. When he left Krypton, like... On HBO Max, I watched the Krypton intro again and again and again. Once he leaves Krypton, garbage. Uh, super, so, so my thing is, I need, I need to see the suit in full. Show me a logo. Sorry, no. Show us the suit. <laughs> and just, it's Superman's birthday. You're about to start. No, you started a principle of photography. If ever there was a time to show the suit, it would be on Superman's birthday. But I get it. They're going to start filming. We will probably see the suit sometime next week. We are seeing that suit soon. Because here's the thing. This thing's going to get leaks like crazy. We are in the internet super age now. So if I was James Gunn, the earlier you leak, you release the suit officially, the better. Because what you don't want, because I've already seen an image going out there, but I don't know whether it's, it's real. So the best thing you want to do is put us like an official image, then we can say what's up. But here's my thing, though, is... Is James Gunn the right man to direct this Superman film? That's the issue. Guardians of the Galaxy is a damn good film. I wasn't too hot on two. I like three. I, I watched three on the plane. Three was cool. On my way to Nigeria, I watched part three. Cool. Part one is a very... Part one, that is a really good film. That is a really good ensemble film. Really good. Like, Guardians of the Galaxy, boom. You get my vote. Um... But I look at Guardians of the Galaxy and I don't... When I look at Guardians of the Galaxy, I don't say, oh yeah, that is the guy who should direct a Superman film because the standard of Superman was set in that first film, which is why it is so telling that he says, no, I'm going to name my film Superman because almost no one would do that because to separate themselves, but just out of respect of what that film is about. So I think James Gunn is almost saying, you know what? I'm putting my balls on the table and says, yes, I'm naming my film Superman. Because once you do that, people now link it to Richard Donner. So I'm just fascinated because, again, my thing is, I don't think James Gunn is the right one to direct a, the Superman film that this world needs. Which is that a film, an epic, an event, where you go there and where he's like, no, this is an event. Because... The world needs a Superman film. Not just like a film with Superman, Man of Steel. No, a way like, wow, this is Superman. Something to uplift the spirit of what is a crazy world right now. Cost of living is going crazy. Energy prices are going crazy. People are starving. Food short shortage and stuff. M messed up stuff. People lo losing their jobs. Job cuts. We need, we need, we need hope. <laughs> you know? So, but, but I just do not know whether he's the right man. But again, prove me wrong. Pro prove me wrong. Prove me me wrong. You know, um, so my thing is, I just don't know whether he's, I, we need to see that trailer. That trailer will tell us a lot. Now, let me be, let me be real. The trailer for Man of Steel was amazing. That trailer for Man of Steel with the music and everything that trailer from Man of Steel was amazing. Was absolutely outstanding. 
So, who knows? Who knows? Um, the trailer was, so the trailer was, was, was amazing. The film was, was trash. So we had an amazing trailer. And normally, I'm a guy that's actually a good gauge of how good a film will be based off of trailers. And I'm normally not as wrong, but that, that was one of the very few times where, wow, the trailer and the film were different. Another one similar was Dark Knight, where the trailer for Dark Knight showed me a different kind of a film. Not the film that I got. But at least it was close enough. That trailer for Man of Steel and that film, two completely different things. Two com from two completely different worlds. So I would say that um so yeah, I so so for me I we we I still need to see a trailer and just see okay, where is his psychology at? Where is his psychology at? What ang what is the angle coming from? Because if you're bringing in Superman, it's what's your angle? What is your angle? Is he an alien? Is he an outcast? Is he the is he the Boy Scouts or are you just gonna, gonna come with something that no one has ever really thought of? So yeah, and I don't know, I just I let's 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 see what, what what's up. Let's see what's happening, you know. Um now I I I believe we're gonna get a better film than Man of Steel. I'll be shocked if James Gunn makes makes a film as bad or worse than Man of Steel. Man of Steel was a stupid film. Guys, a man of steel superman. This is supposed to be the good, positive man. This man pretty much murdered like hundreds and thousands of people by wrecking and flying into buildings. Like, that's when you have zero disregard for the character and you're just doing it. it guys, when you look at Zack Snyder, does that look like a guy who knows what the hell he's doing? Zack Snyder is an extremely talented idiot. That is the best way to describe him. He's an extremely talented moron. That's what Snyder is. So, for Superman, yeah, look, man, I mean, I, that's why I'm curious about this. I'm not excited. I'm not, I am just curious because I'm like, a James Gunn Superman film, what will that be like? What will, what, I mean, how is he going to represent that? Um, because Chris Christ, I don't, I don't think you know what Christopher Reeve was, bro. Christopher Reeve was, was different. And again, after this video, I want you guys to just, once this video is done, find your copy of Superman 1. You can find it on, on HBO Max. Watch the first 15 minutes of that film. The, the Krypton, when he's in Smallville, up until the point where he's now fully an adult and he flies at the screen. Just watch that entire segment and then say to yourself, can James Gunn capture that level of cinema? So the question, can James Gunn capture that level of cinema that you saw in that first 15, 20 minutes of Superman from Donald? So guys, tell me what you think. Do you feel James Gunn is a right man for Superman? Do you think he will deliver a Superman? What kind of Superman do you think he will deliver?